Hey, this is Andrew again. Uh, I'm here to introduce House of Hummingbird, which is Kim Bora's latest film. It debuted at the Busan International Film Festival in 2018 and then played at Berlin the following year. Uh, so this is an incredibly patient and nuanced film. And I think an attempt at summary will probably not do it justice, but I'm going to attempt that. Uh, it's essentially about a 14-year-old girl growing up in Seoul in 94 uh, who just is dealing with like a litany of problems. A negligent mother, a deranged father, a physically abusive brother. She has boyfriend problems, girlfriend problems, a lingering medical issue. And then there's just the, uh, you know, like crushing weight of mid-90s neoliberal capitalism on this working class family. And a lot more, which sounds like a lot. Uh, but the film's able to juggle kind of all of that uh, without even glancing toward melodrama. And I think what holds it together is the lead performance, um, which is just incredibly nuanced and kind of restrained and does a lot like physically. Um, it's one of the best films of the past few years. Um, anyways, I kind of hesitate to say too much more about it. Uh, it's just a heartbreaking, horrifying film, but with moments of, you know, intense, like, empathy and things like that. But not melodramatic, though. Um, it's a little hard to describe this one, but it's, it's really one that deserves to be seen. And, um, yeah, just a really high recommendation. We've had all these great films, I mean always, but, but recently especially, coming out of Korea, um, and this is no different. Um, yeah, fantastic film, yeah. Um, please consider becoming a member of the Nightlight um, and, and join us and, and let us bring you these films. Thank you.